Wednesday live stream, 10 a.m. Hope you're doing well. Come say hi in the chat. Uh, usually how we format this is uh, I'm going to do like a 10, 15 minute talk about today's topic, which is triads. And then afterwards, we're going to do a QA. and a I want to get to know about uh, everyone that's in this community and, you know, where you're from, how long you've been playing the guitar. You can ask me kind of any questions after that. Um, but yeah, let's let's just jump into it. Um, all right, so triads. Uh, it seems like a lot of people are on this triad kick, right? Uh, and there's a reason for that. So the reason triads are so important, like the, the benefit, is that it allows you to see the fretboard and not be confined to just one space. It really unlocks the fretboard. Uh, and it, it happened for me because I was practicing a lot of modes, a lot of scales, and until I really looked at triads. And it wasn't like I sat down and practiced them uh, like a regiment, uh, which would have been beneficial, but it was really just kind of being like, oh, instead of just being able to play a G chord here and here, oh, I'm able to play a G chord all up and down the neck. And I get, there's so many benefits to that. One is like, you're not just confined. Uh, but also you have all these different voicings, right? You can, and, and then also being able to play like chord melodies and be able to play chords and fills and like solo in the chords. Um, that is a huge, huge one. All that are benefits from just being able to play um, triads. That's it. Um, so for today, I wanted to show you uh, triads is in the key of G, just the G major. I'm going to show you um, just the top couple strings, so you guys can follow along and have something to practice. Um, and and then we're going to, you know, if you have your guitar right now, feel free to grab it. Because um, I'm going to show you these triads and then I'll kind of show you where we can take this afterwards. So here are the triads on the just the high string set, um, which sounds like this. <laughs> Let me turn off this delay for you, so you're not getting multiple, <laughs> multiple. And here are the triads on the next lower set, like, so the B string would be the high string. And basically the payoff is like, eventually you're able to make chord melodies. So I'm just going to show you the the high, um, there's going to be six different shapes. So here is a G major triad on the high string. So it's kind of probably hard, so I'm using my middle finger on the, the G string, fourth fret, and then using my first finger to bar the third fret, the high strings. And then the next shape is like a D shape. It's like, so if you know that D shape up here, that's what we're doing. So I'm using my first finger, G string, seventh fret, ring finger, eighth fret, B string, and then uh, middle finger, seventh fret, high E string. And then we got our high, we got our next little G inversion. Um, which is 12, 12, 10. So I'm using my ring finger, then my pinky, and then my first finger. All right, so those are our shapes. All 
right, so, uh, and, and then if we we're going to move the shapes this way, so it's like the B string is now the highest note, um, it sounds like this. So this shape is uh, starting on the D string, five, four, three. Those are the fret numbers. And then I'm using my ring, middle, first finger. Again, that's ring, middle, first finger. just joining us welcome guys uh, thanks for being here I'm gonna get to the chat in a second but for now just type in uh, you know your name where you're from and how long you've been playing guitar so this is uh, one of our strings uh, this is our one of our triads here's the next triad which is uh, nine seven eight nine seven eight uh, so we I'm using my ring first finger, middle finger. And then finally, this is like an A shape all the way up here. So you know, you can use this finger, you can use your first finger to bar everything on the 12th, you can use your ring finger to bar everything on the 12th. Um, but anyways, like this is, and then like just go practice it, practice. thing is we're gonna be able to start throwing chords in between um, that will really kind of make it sound musical but until you have this foundation it's really really hard um, but I uh, yeah if, until you have the foundation it's really hard to like expand upon it um, so <coughs> excuse me um, but yeah it's a really really fun little exercise um, I'm not gonna do all the string sets but again it, it's like It's just a really you know we're able to play a lot a lot of stuff um, anyways that is kind of what I wanted to cover today these major triads and if you can just start practicing them practice like your favorite keys like so we all love g we all love a we all love e and d practice just the keys that you see most often um and then in future lessons in future segments will be i'll show you how to connect these major triads like what chords to put in between them to make them sound like extremely musical okay um, so I'm just going to turn around, so I have my computer right here, uh, and I'm going to turn around and check the chat and say what's up. Robert, what's happening? What's happening, man? You've been playing 20 years in New York. Uh, thanks for being here. Is it How is it playing guitar in New York? Because I imagine there's a lot of apartments so you probably can't turn up very loud. Um, do you have an amp or do you kind of play through headphones? I'm curious about that. Because I'm in Los Angeles, so it's a little more space here. It's like a sprawling city. Uh, we got T1 Guitar. Um, uh, man, thanks for following me from the beginning. I really appreciate that, man. I really, really appreciate it. It's great to have you part of the community. And... Uh, yeah, yeah, man, I appreciate it. Quentin, what's happening, man? Thanks for coming back. Quentin, I, I recognize you, South Africa. Um, thanks for coming back, man, and yeah, appreciate it. What time is it in South Africa? I always ask this question, but uh, what time is it in South Africa? When I was in South Africa, I was so tempted to get a cigar, or like a... What do they sell like the guitars that are like oil cans and it's it has like its own little vibe I just couldn't uh, I didn't have enough room to bring it back um, so I didn't I didn't buy one but maybe I can maybe maybe in the future I'll call, I'll go back or get one I thought it was such a cool little instrument though um, what's up Aurel what's up man appreciate it Aurel is a great photographer videographer just amazing creative, incredible eye. If anybody needs 
anything creative like that, um, hit him up. What's up, Julian? How's it going, man? Um, so, yep, triads are definitely the way. I don't have, like, a PDF to give you at the moment. You're asking if there's, like, a, a flow chart or whatever. Um, I will be doing videos in the future that, like, lay out some tabs for all this so, like, you can really visualize and follow along. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But at the moment, I don't have, um, like, a PDF download. Um, and then let me check what your other part of your question was. Um, okay, so Julian, you're asking how to use the sixth diminished to come up with chord melody. So here's how I do it. Um, that sounds like a lot of jargon. Like, what is a sixth diminished? Like, just forget, forget, um, forget that that's a word, and just listen to this. Listen to this sound. So we went over our triads, right? Now, if we just throw this one chord in between, it's the same chord over and over again. Check this out. That's a diminished chord. So all of a sudden we're making chord melodies, which is like, I'm using a G chord, these inversions, right? And then I'm using a diminished. Diminished here, where the high note is on the, uh, the fifth fret and the eighth fret. And like, that's how I make chord melodies. Like, yeah, that's it. That's like, that's the whole six diminished thing. Uh, if you want to like get away from all the jargon, uh, that's the sound. If you want to just use your ears, you have like your, your chord, your major chord. And the next chord is a diminished, then you go back to your major chord, you get a diminish, and that's how you do it. Um, yeah, that's how I do it. So, Is that helpful? Was that helpful, Julian? I'm going to take a little sip here. What's up, everybody? Welcome. We got some new new folks this uh, this round, or this live stream. So I go, I do a live stream every, uh, every week at 10 a.m. on Wednesdays, so welcome. Uh, yeah, 10 a.m. Pacific time, so like Los Angeles time. So, welcome everyone. Let me know any questions, comments, concerns. Um, yeah, super, super cool to start this community. We have a lot, a lot of, um, lot of, like, repeating people, but also people of various skill ranges, various, like, ages, genders, you know, locations across the world. So, yeah, it's really cool community we're starting so thanks for being a part of soulful guitar lessons um all right i'm gonna check this chat quentin okay it's 2012 there which means because that's in like military time so that's eight eight twelve okay okay that's about like dinner time that's pretty cool um yeah i've, I've been uh i checked out the the music you sent me so or you you told me to check out the it was a guitar player so thanks for i uh, checked it out it was cool thanks for sending that um okay we got we got another cat from south africa um welcome man a lot of people actually like s several folks from south africa that's cool um i've been to south africa i spent like a month there it was beautiful beautiful country so thanks for thanks for being a part Julian, okay, no, yeah, man, no problem. That's 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 how we do it. That's how, like, most cats do it. Um, I'm not like thinking too much. I'm just playing like a couple chords and boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah, almost like not thinking so technically, just like as simple as possible. Like even when I'm doing that, I'm like, man, I have like, I'm just playing two chords. Like, this is this chord, this chord, and this chord. They're all G, right? So I'm just playing, that's one chord for me. And then this chord and this chord, they're the same chord, right? Because they're just a diminished chord. And diminished chords, you can move up minor thirds. 
So I'm like, I'm literally only playing two chords. This is a one chord, this is two chord, then we start over. One chord, two chord, one chord, two chord. You know, it's... You know, like, I'm just making these melodies. Leanne, you were, you, Leanne was asking a question, I think I'm pronouncing that right, of like, you're trying to figure out how to, um, like, you said key centering, but also playing changes with rhythm and lead. So I think this lesson is 100% for you, like this topic. Um, so knowing your triads really will help you kind of like blur the lines between like, oh, I'm playing rhythm guitar and then now I'm playing lead guitar. Like learning triads really, really helps you kind of fuse them together. Because I remember when I was starting out, it's like, and I'm playing rhythm guitar. Now I'm just going to play the rhythm. And then like I would switch my brain and it'd be lead guitar, but really doesn't have to be like that. They're really one and the same. They're one and the same. Um, and so learning learning the triads up and down the neck all all over um, is invaluable. It's yeah, you're you're gonna use it all the time. I use it all the time for everything from jazz to pop. You know, like if I, if I'm playing like uh, sitting on the dock of the bay, you know, instead of just playing it like this, you know, like playing these block chords or you know these bar chords that works but what if I played them with and then we can start getting more creative That is a skill I've yet to master. Um, but yeah, so you're able to play these like chords in different shapes uh, or in different positions, you know, and then you might be able to either get, get out of here and just go. up but I just want to show you that you can that's really how you do it is like you, you get out of like your normal patterns and you start moving around on the neck that makes sense um, so practice practice your triads up and down like literally if you have your G chord <laughs> up and down the neck that's really how you're gonna get uh, strong with this stuff uh, Quentin no problem man that's what we're here for thanks for being a part of the community I really appreciate it um, yeah so uh, I'm gonna put this in the chat now what are people listening to what are people's favorite music they're listening to Okay, so Leanne, you're asking about like outside triads and chord changes. That's really like reharm. So one thing that my old guitar or like old music teacher told me is first you got to learn the rules before you can break them. So 
I would say first get all of like your triads down and like know the, the building blocks of all this. And then you can kind of launch into the reharm uh, world. So like that's what I would advise doing. But you know, I still want to answer your question. So if if I'm trying to think of a song that that we could do, um, that would have um, some complex changes that we could throw in. Um, let's stay together. Um, I'm so in love with you. Whatever you want to do is all right with me. Right? If we're just doing up to like up to there, you can always throw. Just throw some cool chords in, right? I am so in love with you. You know, you, you can add all these extra colorful chords. I am so flourishes come um, and I'll do I'll do a lesson series on that um, I just wanted to show you kind of what was going on like first you play like the basic chords and then you can kind of take it out a little bit and that's that's a lot of like reharm theory um, that's a lot of listening to like what other people do because there's like really no specific rules in this whole like there are rules but you got to learn them before you can break them that's kind of what I'm gonna keep coming back to is like, yes, there are rules, but we can we can mess with them and have fun with it. Um, so I guess one one thing I do is uh, I'll put like if I'm like playing F to D minor, um, one thing I'll do is I'll put the like an A7 in between. So F I am so in love with you, and same thing if I'm going to like the B flat, B flat, um, uh, we can also throw like an F dominant seven. So I'm literally just throwing a dominant before F so, uh, and then instead of just playing this A dominant chord, uh, I might throw like a tension on it, you know, like an alteration. Uh, and so Whatever you want to do All right with me yeah. um, And all, all the stuff Isaiah is doing is incredible. He's like a one-of-one one guitar player um, And yeah, it's it's his his music theory is very very deep. So before we jump down the rabbit hole of like that, um, it's really important to understand like a lot of the basic building blocks is what I would say. Not to dissuade you from ever learning that stuff because that stuff is amazing. Um, but yeah, just like some fundamentals we'd want to do. Quentin, those are some of my favorite. Um, favorite guitar players, George Benson, Norman Brown, Wes Montgomery, super, super good stuff. Um, one of my, my favorite record, I just was cooking the other night and I was listening to Wes Montgomery smoking at the half note and just all the way through it is just a banger after banger. It's just incredible. Um, it like, it just, it just blows my mind. He's just, he's the best. Um, Leanne, you're talking about a spanky Alford dissonant lockdown. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Um, I know that we're kind of constrained that I have a video and you don't. Um, I'm sure if I could see what you're doing or trying to explain it. Um, but... Maybe you could 
help me understand a little bit better because I, I don't really understand from what you mean by that. Um, Julian, you're kind of asking about four chord triads. So, so triad is just three. Tri being like it just be a three note um, idea. So there's no real four chord triads or four note triads, but things that are cool, something that's handy um, for me is like stacking triads on top of triads. Um, that's a really, really cool thing. Piano players do that a lot. So say, here's a fun one. Here's a triad stacked on top of another triad. So like, it's like a B, if, if we have like an A over B, a lot of people would incorrectly say that's like a sus sound. Um, um, that's that sound. And then if we played this, So I'm playing like a, I'm playing an A flat, like A flat triad, and then in the, the bass is like a B. So it's an A over B, so like A is above it, and then B is the bass note. And then we're going to change to have an A flat. And then that would resolve to an E. like that sound and I'll just tell you the fingering right now so you can kind of just start playing it so I'm just playing an A chord with the B in the bass and then I'm keeping these uh, this ring finger and pinky lo locked in position and then doing that and there that's a really fun one you can also uh, do Which is a, I'm playing a B in the bass and an F on the top, I'm resolving it to E. That's a fun one. Um, as long as we're in this key, you could do a lot of stuff like that. Um, like this is the same idea as before. It's like an A flat triad with the B. So I, I use it more like that. I'm more like stacking triads on top of each other rather than trying to like expand on a triad and like add notes. My brain is like, oh, I'm trying to make things as simple as possible. Like, let's just have like a triad and not try to overcomplicate things. Um, Quentin, thank you, man. Yeah, that, how does it feel? Um, that was a fun one. That was like a COVID session. Um, my buddy Brandon Combs, he plays drums for uh, Leon Bridges. It's, it's so amazing. Um, and my buddy Chris Digpen, we've we've done a lot of stuff together. We did the Megan Trainer gig together, um, the bass player. And yeah, those are just two amazing cats to sit behind. Um, I would love to do that again. Brandon Combs doesn't live in Los Angeles anymore, but maybe I can you know, next time he's in town, we could, I would love to do another one of those, um, uh, those like Midwest hospitality trio. I'd love to do another trio gig, um, and put it out there. Julian, so you're asking, uh, how do you figure out what you like? So here's how I do it. And this is how, um, I was taught to do it. I had an old teacher named Richard Davis uh, in at UW-Madison. I went to school there, not for music, for other things, but um, I was taking a music class, and he would literally just tell me, okay, play, play a bass note. For us, it's easy to just play a bass note. Play an E. Then play some triads on top of it. Do you like that? Figure out which ones you like. Go 
up and down the neck, figure out which ones you like for your ear. Like I could, I could, t I told you a couple, I told you a couple things that I like, but everyone's ear is different. And that's how he told me to do it. It's like, yo, just find, find which triad you like, um, on top of a bass note. And that's kind of, um, that's kind of it. Yossi, what's up? What's happening, man? Um, so we got some jazz, blues, soul, funk. Those are all my favorite things. Um, have you guys heard Prince's breakdown in Sticky Like Glue? So Prince released, like, music. You know, he, like, his heyday was the 80s, you know, late 70s, 80s. But he, he has the song Sticky Like Glue. And like two and a half minutes in, he just does this breakdown. Like it's like a funk breakdown. It's incredible. It, he's playing normal chords, but like his feel is just ridiculous. Um, check out that song, Sticky Like Glue. Um, but yeah, man, I'm into all that stuff. That's why we're all here together on this community channel, you know? It's all full guitar lessons because we all love that kind of music. <laughs> guitar tuned up it was giving me so much so many problems uh this is a les paul um custom shop and i just th this color is just so cool so unique um i just got it tuned up because it was like unplayable for a bit and now that it's all tuned up this is all i want to play um <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony. Yeah, man. Love that stuff. Oh, wrong key. Feeling that that sound, um, yeah, incredible. Yeah, they're one of my favorites too, man. Um, do we have any uh, new people? I think uh, I know Quentin. I rec recognize Quentin and Yossi. Um, thanks for coming back. If you're uh, if you're new to the channel or new, just hanging out in the chat, feel free to say what's up. Tell me a little bit about yourself, your name maybe, and uh, how long you've been playing. I got a Anybody else have any questions too? Feel free to shoot them in the chat.
Quentin, you said you started playing in 2017 when you started seeing Jonathan Butler, amazing gospel artist, musician, guitar player. Awesome, man. That's awesome. So you're pretty fresh to it. You're, you're, only, you're only like six years in, if that. Maybe like five and a half years. So um, that's, that's cool, man. That's cool. What are some of your favorite songs to play? check that out I'm assuming it's a uh, the Lydian mode um, but I'll, I'll check that I, I haven't been like super deep into Norma Brown but everybody loves them so much I gotta check you out um, yeah so we're kind of coming up on you know, I'm gonna probably start wrapping up this little live stream here in the next couple minutes um, so feel free to Come say hi. Let me know. Let me know what's going on. Feel free to shoot me any questions. This I am an open book. Um, I don't really keep any secrets about the guitar. Or, like it's like, oh, it's my information. That's oh, everybody's info. So, um, yeah. So let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, I'm just gonna be noodling on a little bit on this guitar because it feels so good. Um, just really, really fun to play. <laughs> seems like uh, the chat is cooling off, um, so I am going to sign off for the day. Thank you everyone uh, that was a part of today's live stream. Uh, I go live every Wednesday, 10 a.m. Uh, Los Angeles time, so Pacific time. So feel free to come back next Wednesday. Um, I also put out videos every Tuesday, uh, and I have a free master class too if you're um, curious about kind of my thought process and yeah I, I go a little deeper and there's some you know tabs and stuff that you can follow along with um that's just in the description if you're interested at all about that kind of thing um so yeah the master class is free um and so but yeah thank you guys thanks uh for being a part of this community soulful guitar lessons my name is alec uh yeah it was cool seeing some familiar faces you know quentin you know see um appreciate you guys so um so yeah hope to see you guys next week and yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Enjoy your day, your evening. Cheers.